insulated gate bipolar transistors. This is something new to me and the one that I have is this one right here. And of course I've looked up the specs and the max that this can handle is 600 volts DC at 6 amps. Here is the schematic symbol for an IGBT and on the left it you can see that it's got a gate like a MOSFET but it also has an emitter and collector like a transistor. So what that means is we've got a high impedance input and a low impedance output. Now the physical makeup of this is on the right and the pin designation all the way to the left is G for the gate then C for the collector and E for the emitter. And about the same configuration as far as usage goes as an in-channel MOSFET. That being, if I had a MOSFET here, it would be GDS. I'm going to put this in a very simple circuit. And here it is. On the gate, we have a variable resistor, so we can vary the voltage from practically zero up to 12 volts. And on the collector, we got a 500 ohm resistor and in series with that is an LED going to 12 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to vary the 50k ohm resistor looking at it with a digital meter at ground and on the gate and we're going to determine when the LED starts to light, what the voltage is on the gate. We're also going to try and determine when the LED stops getting brighter. In other words, it's just turned on all the way and it's not going to go any farther. So we'll try and determine that also. I have 12 volts hooked up to this circuit. Here's the LED up here, 500 ohm resistors to, to 1K in parallel. This is a 50K variable. And I'm going to turn this up slowly, varying the gate voltage, and see when this LED first starts to light. Okay, over one volt, over three volts. Okay, here's four volts. Oh, I can see it just barely. I don't know. I think that'll show up in the video. Okay, it's right there. 4.6. Now I'm going to continue on and see. Okay, that's as bright as it's going to get. Get it all the way up to 12 volts on the gate. Now we'll turn this down and see where it maxes there, which is, you can see that it kind of stops right there. So that would be about 5.7. And turn this all the way up again. Okay. Yep. Try that again. 
Yeah, about 5.7. So, 4. Dot, all right, it just barely turns on there. About 4.7, 4.8, somewhere in there. To about 5. Dot 7, something like that. So this device seems to me like it is pretty much an on-off device. You wouldn't really want to use this in an audio amplifier. This be really great for switching though. So this isolated gate bipolar transistor should be very useful in high voltage, high current pulsing circuits. Thanks for watching.